The two diesels surveyed the shed. It is time, 7101, that we took this railway over. Hush, 199. It's their railway after all. Not for long. Our controller says that steam engines spoil our image. Of course we do. We show what frauds you are. Call yourself engines. If anything happens, you care nothing for your train. You just moan for a fitter. We'd bring it home if only on one cylinder. Nothing ever happens to us. We are reliable. Vulgar noises greeted this. How rude. You asked for it. Now shut up! The next day, Henry was rolling home tender first. I'm a failed engine. Lost my regulator. Driver says it's jammed wide open. And he can't mend it until I'm cool. However, I've got steam. And driver can do as my reverser. It would have happened if Duck hadn't fooled me with those tenders. <sighs> now they'll laugh at me again. He reached the signal box and stopped, whistling for a road. Opposite the box stood Diesel 199 with a train of oil tankers. <sighs> worst and worst, now Old Reliable will laugh at me too. Oh, pity six! Take this spam can away! It's failed! The Limited is behind and all he does is wail for a fitter. SPAM CAN! I'M- Stole it! Oh, I'll take my tin up and I'll take it! Now then! 199 subsided at this dreadful threat, and Henry pushed the train into a siding. The diesel didn't help, he just sulked. The Limited rushed by with a growl and a roar. <laughs> Look, Spam Can, there's your little pal. The Diesel said nothing. He hoped 7101 hadn't noticed. 7101 hadn't noticed. He had troubles of his own. He was crossed with his coaches. They seemed to be getting heavier. He roared at them, but it did no good. He struggled on for half a mile before being brought to a stand, growling furiously, unable oh. to move the world. Well, well, well. Have you heard what Signalman said? I thought they'd be laughing at me. Now the joke's on them. Moving two dead diesels and their trains. That's no joke for a failed engine. Do you think you can manage? I'll have a good try. Anyways, 7101's better than old Spam can. He did try to shut him up last night. Come on then. We mustn't keep the passengers waiting. It's moving you! Henry puffed the sulky diesel into motion and started to the rescue. Henry gently buffered up to the express. While the two drivers talked, his fireman joined his front brake pipe to the coaches. It's better than we thought, Henry. The diesel can pull as long as we keep the brakes off. It's the only way we'll have is spam cans goods. Phew! That's a mercy. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So with 7101 growling in the front, and Henry gamely puffing in the middle, the long cavalcade set out for the next big station. Donald and Gordon were waiting. They cheered as Henry approached. He braked the coaches thankfully, spam can and tankers trailing far behind. The passengers buzzed out like angry bees. When the Fat Controller told them about Henry, they forgot to be cross and thanked Henry instead. They called him an enterprising engine and took his photograph. Gordon took the passengers, and Donald took the goods. Return 199 to the other railway. I will reach my views later. Henry and 7101 went away together. I'm sorry about last night. That's alright. You did shut old Reliable up. And made a fool of myself today too. Rubbish. A failed injector could happen to anyone. I lost my regulator. You failed? And yet? 
Well, emergencies, you know. Trains must get through. 711 said no more. He had a lot to think about. Seven one oh one, help me! I'm dying. The steam engines are killing me. <laughs> <laughs>